There we go. Holy frick. Did you guys see how fast we just got right there? Welcome everybody back to another Super Mario Odyssey glitch video. Now as you can see, today's glitch takes place in the Metro Kingdom, so head over there now if you want to try it out with me. I also have to give all credit to the founder of this glitch, Circle. It doesn't even surprise me because he always pulls through and finds the coolest glitches in the game. So we're going to probably see a bunch of videos on this glitch in the near future simply because there are a bunch of crazy outcomes that can come from it. Alright, now I'm going to tell you all how to actually set up this glitch. So as you can see, it takes place in this area with all the letters. Now you're going to want to disregard all the letters except for arm. Now as soon as you capture any of the letters, you'll notice an odd invisible wall that prevents the letters from actually escaping much further than this uh, kind of sidewalk area. Keeping that in mind, we are going to completely destroy the barrier and get them out. Or so you're going to want to line up the R backwards facing this way. It's easiest if you put it in the top right of the invisible boundary. Next, you're going to go for the A like so. Bring it up over to here right next to the R and make sure it's facing the white side. There you go. It doesn't have to be super precise, but it would be nice if you could get it kind of similar to that. Alright, finally you're going to take the M and bring it all the way over to both the A and the R. You want to line up the M so it is facing it so there's a slope towards the camera. Just like that, we should be set to grab the moped, which by the way, I have no idea why, but it has so many glitches that revolve around the scooter. Alright, so once you get here, you're going to notice that you cannot actually just ride up the M, it will actually push you away. So you're going to want to line up the scooter a bit away from it, and then start going forward and jump, and then press a dismount at the same time. That might have sounded a bit complicated, but it is not at all. And just like that, the scooter should be placed upright. That is perfect, and then you're going to want to simply capture the M. Now in my opinion, it's a bit easier if you do capture it and then wait. Well then. There we go, just like that, we are now going to recapture the M and move forward just a bit. You'll see this actually walking by itself, I'm not moving anything right now. Now it's in this state, you need to uncapture, capture the R, and there are a couple things that can actually happen. Now what's happened to me most frequently is that the R builds up an insane amount of speed. I probably should have seen that coming, but basically when I capture it, it should either speed up really quickly or will just be pushed out of bounds. And we are out of bounds, okay, so it didn't actually do the really quick skip, which is pretty cool looking, but we still made it out. You're definitely not supposed to have any letters out here, but I'm going to explore different things you can do with it now. As you can see, cars can drive right through the letters. Whoa. Boys, we are on top of, of a car. No way. That's so cool looking. You know what this means? Thumbnail time. Alright, so I'm going to see how far we can actually take this thing. Can we take it up here? Yes, we can. Now, this part may be a bit treacherous. We're going to try to cross this bridge. Oh, oh. Alright, so unfortunately, I believe we just trapped ourselves. Uh, so we might have to reset the glitch, but it's not too hard to pull off. So it's actually not that big of a deal. Rip. There we go, just like that. And we should be able to pull off the glitch now. Oh, that's another thing that can happen that I forgot to mention. The letter can actually hover above the other ones, and you can get a pretty cool result. Alright, now that we have it all set up, I can show you what I was meaning to in the first place. So the thing I was going to show you is that there's actually a new way to get infinite score in Jump Rope. All you have to do is simply bring the R over here, underneath the Jump Rope game, and then X out. Then you just have to stand on top of it and watch the number grow. And just like that, you can easily get the jump rope moons like so. Alright, so I'm going to try to get a better visual representation of how much speed you can actually build up and how far you can actually get. So here we go, I'm going to bring the letters over and get it set up for you guys again. There we go! Holy frick, did you guys see how fast we just got right there? Well guys, that's pretty much going to be doing it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Again, major shoutouts to Circle for discovering this glitch. 
If you guys have any cool glitches or challenges you'd like me to try out on the channel, make sure you join the Discord first link in the description. But yeah, that is going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.